Welcome students and interested viewers in our first virtual hand quilting class at the Tabaka Farm Life Museum in mm -hmm. Kenley, North Carolina, where Melody Worthington is the executive director. My name is Molly Renfro. I am, have Cedar Chess Quilting. Uh, you can reach me at molly.renfro at gmail.com if you have questions after the class. Uh, today we're going to be doing the quilting technique called yo-yos. It is a simple technique. It requires only one size of fabric. It is versatile because you can make it um, to take with you where you go and work on the yo-yos and then put your project together when you have time. The sizes could vary on, the size of the yo-yo varies on the size of your fabric. It is portable, so you can package it in the little kit that we have and take it with you. We, we've supplied everything for you and Let's see what we're going to be doing today. It is called a yo-yo tree. For those of you who pre-registered for the class, you will receive your kit with all the um, supplies that you need, starting with your neutral thread for making your yo-yos, a thimble to protect your fingers, a threader for your embroidery thread in particular, but also your sewing thread, and your embroidery thread is going to match your tree trunk. You get a charm pack with at least 20 pieces of five inch square fabrics, all of them are different, uh, different patterns. And on the back, you have some basting tape that I will explain to you later, but look for it on the back of your charm pack. The key to making the yo-yos is gonna be our clover yo-yo. We start out with a five inch fabric and we're gonna end up with a, basically a two and a half inch circle when we finish yo-yo. Your background is gonna be a pillowcase. It is 18 by 18. You can use fabric if you want to, but in the kit, you will get this. And in your kit, inside of the pillowcase is a cardboard square. We want you to keep that cardboard square because you're gonna use this in the process. You will also receive an 18 inch square of batting. The pattern for your tree trunk the felt for your tree trunk, and look for your two needles. One is a large eye needle for your embroidery thread and then a regular sewing needle that will be attached to your felt. Additional plies you will need is scissors to cut your threads and to trim any loose um, things that are on the, your fabric, a marker, and I'll show you what that's gonna be for. And since we're using embroidery thread, to keep it from getting tangled, I recommend using beeswax, which you will take and run through here and I'll show you that in the demonstration to keep it from tangling. You may want to use straight pins and uh, safety pins to help keep things in place until you stitch them down. So these are just optional things to have. And of course, you will need your iron, your faithful iron and ironing board. Okay, are we ready to get started on our yo-yo tree? First, we're gonna start out making our foundation. We're gonna take the pillowcase out and make sure that you save that cardboard because we're gonna need that, it's very important. With your um, pillow cover, you want to iron it so that it is folded halfway here, halfway again, so you have four sections. This will mark your center points on all four so that when you open it up, and you wanna pay attention to where your zipper is to keep that at the top. So when you open it up, you have center points marked here and marked here. Now what we're gonna do is take our batting and we're gonna do the same thing, but because this is polyester extra high loft batting, we're not gonna iron it. We're just gonna fold it over, match up your corners so that you can find your center points here, here on all four sides. And me, I like to, to mark these with a safety pin because I don't stick myself as often and they'll stay there until I take them out. to get to that center, so you might have to refold it the other way. So now, you have your four center points marked on your batting, you have your four center points marked on your pillowcase. If you haven't already unzipped and opened, you can open it now and insert the batting. And 
and you line up your pins with the creases, the pins on the bat, and you line that up with the creases on your pillowcase cover. And once you get that in place, and get your corners flat. And if for any reason that when you're doing this, your batting has stretched and it will not lay flat, you can take it out and trim off that excess. So once it lays flat like that, you wanna check both sides and make sure your batting is flat. Then you can go back in here, and I don't know, and move your pins to the outside. You wanna pin the batting to the front only. Make sure the batting is flat inside of your pillowcase, and then we're gonna move the pins to the outside. You see the back has a nice big opening so you can easily work in there. And if you need to, you can put additional pins in the corners to keep your batting from shifting. And if you're afraid of pinning yourself while you're doing this, that's where the handy cardboard comes in place because you can insert it in the back where you're working at so that the pin hits the cardboard and not your fingers. Okay, so now we have our batting stationary. And the next step is to put our tree trunk on. All right, we've got our foundation ready. Let's make our tree trunk. We're gonna take the brown felt fabric. You wanna make sure you take the label off with your needles and put that aside. And in your kit, you have your um, pattern for your tree trunk. So we wanna lay it, it down flat and make sure that we center that pattern piece over uh, your felt. And you can use your basting tape, just a few pieces to stabilize the tree. So you can cut it out. It wants to stick to my finger more than the paper. I just put two little pieces up here so it won't shift when I put it on my felt. Press it down and I'm ready to cut that out. Okay, make sure you have a good pair of scissors to cut the felt out and just follow your pattern. You can add as much of the basting tape as you feel you need to to keep the pattern from shifting. And now we have our tree trunk. Once we've cut out your tree trunk, we applied your basting tape to the back so that you can place it. And we want to place it along the seam, bottom seam of the pillowcase. And I'm going to turn this around so I can make sure I have it all the way to the end. Okay. 
and center it. If you need to mark the center of your tree so that you can apply it to the crease that shows the center of your pillowcase, then do that. Now this basting tape is only gonna hold it temporarily. So we just want, don't want it to shift when we start sewing. Okay, our next step is to attach our um, tree trunk. We're gonna use embroidery thread. So we wanna make sure we get the needle with the big eye so that the thread will go through it. And you're gonna use your needle threader to insert into the eye of the needle. Now the embroidery thread comes in twisted together. There's actually six of these in here. I, depending on how much of your stitching you want to show, will determine how many of those threads you use, but you will separate them. Oops. And be very careful because they're real twisted. You can see that there's more than one thread there and you will separate them. Because I don't want mine to show very much, I'm only using two strands of the embroidery floss. So with your needle um, threader in place, you wanna insert the two between the needle threader. It'll open up for me. And you only pull it through about an inch through the eye of the needle and you're threaded. And because this is thicker thread, you only need to put a knot on one end. Do not double it again. And I'll show you the quilter's knot. You put your needle in your left hand, the end of your thread in your right hand. Put the end of the thread on the needle with your left hand. And with your right hand, you're holding it and you wanna circle it one, two, three times. And then pinch that twisted end of the thread, push your needle through and pull it all the way to the end. And when you do, you should have a nice little knot. 